She was a runaway, abused by her own father, and faced a hard life on the streets. Drugs, alcohol, and prostitution became her world and landed her in and out of jail, in foster homes, and back on the streets, until fate and a hand of a stranger helped her make that promising turn in life that she herself didn't think possible. Lori, every story begins somewhere. Where did yours begin? Long Island, New York. I actually grew up in my own abusive home as a child. Now, no one ever saw it was a big secret what went on in our house. When it happened, my father got so scared that he took a handgun that he had and he hid it and told the police that I had it. So, long story short, the police came, took me away thinking I was going to kill my father and I had a gun. And I was put in an institution where I was tied to a bed in a straitjacket and drugged. I went into my first group home at that point in my life, and that was where I met other kids like me, other kids that had been abused and abandoned and had the same hard shell that I did, but underneath were just so beautiful, strong kids. Lori spent the next few years in and out of shelters and foster homes, but by the time she was 19, she found herself pregnant, homeless, and living on the streets. And one day, I realized, you know what, Lori? You need more money. And I pulled out the hotel room drawer, which on that day was like a crossroads for me because there's a Bible and there's a yellow pages. So am I gonna pray about my situation or am I gonna take the next step? And the next step would be to start to sell my body to strangers in order to survive with my daughter out on the street, which was where it started, call service. And where it ended was my daughter being taken away and me working the streets as a prostitute for the next couple of years to what would have been and should have been my death. So at the age of 23, I'm picked up by two men on the boulevard, which was customary for me at the time, and I get in the back seat not knowing that that night could be the end of my life. So I end up in a clearing in the woods somewhere, and after hours of being beaten, and as you can imagine what happened in that car, I decided I didn't want to live anyway. And there's nothing left to save. So I started screaming that they would kill me because I realized I could finally end the memories that have been trying to shove back with the drugs. And I think my screaming scared them. I think they thought someone's going to hear what's happening and they're going to get arrested. And they beat me up to unconscious and left me on the side of the canyon road for dead. Lori's story is difficult to hear, yet she has overcome much in her life bravely turning her pain into purpose by inspiring the lives of thousands of children who are faced with daily abuse, addiction, and homelessness, something she believes no child should ever face. One way her team reaches youth in need is in Venice Beach, California, where the PAD, an open door for youth, is located. Venice Beach is literally a magnet for homeless kids all over the United States. And if you walk out here, you will see kids sleeping in the alleyways, behind stores, on the sand, under trees, at the park. It is devastating how many kids are sleeping on the street here. But the commonality in all the stories is escaping something, escaping someone, having nowhere to go, having no safe support. So the pad is the access to all of the resources. And we thought, how are we going to get them from where they are to where we need them to be? So the PAD, which stands for Protection and Direction, because that is our goal, to protect them immediately from the fierce violence on the streets and to direct them to the next step, which would be the vehicle that takes them to success in their life. So the PAD drop-in center is where the kids will, that are sleeping on the streets will walk in meet with our staff, tell us their story, how they ended up out here alone, and we'll start to assess their individual situation and direct them in the appropriate way to get them to safe housing. So this literally is the hub and everything else is the spokes. And one of the main spokes that Lori has developed for helping youth in need is Freehab. Freehab is a free drug and alcohol rehab for any kid living on the streets who's homeless to come in here, get drug and alcohol rehab services, go through their GED or high school education and get their higher education in the same one-stop shop. So when somebody comes into Freehab, what are the first things that you do to help them? 
Well, we assess where they're at and how they ended up homeless. That's very important to us because we want to get an understanding of the individual, the person that we're dealing with. And then as you'll see as you walk through the rehab center, every room is uniquely designed here. They have everything they could possibly need to feel safe. We've got a kitchen with a cook that will cook their meals for them. We've got showers, bathrooms, everything you could possibly need. It's like a pseudo home. And in having a pseudo home, we believe that where and how a child lives reflects on how they feel about themselves. So you'll see that every room was uniquely donated and designed to trigger the hearts of our children and let them know that they're uniquely loved here, that we care for them, we love them, and it is a safe place. Lori's mission serves as a reminder that all children deserve a loving home. Everything I'm doing is a stamp that these kids should get a chance at life. They should get a chance to be everything they've ever wanted to be. So when they call me and they tell me there's a little girl on the street and she's been out there for a while at the drop-in center and she needs a place, I can't tell you how happy I am to meet her at the door and let her know that it's okay, that she saw that there wasn't gonna be a future, but things are changing now. And we're gonna allow her to fulfill her dreams here. Free hab is a realization that you can have everything you've ever dreamt of. And it's the people of the community that are coming together to love you and support you here. If you're in need or know someone that could benefit from this program, visit freehab.com for more information.